Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham, and welcome to my show. And today we're going to be speaking with someone we've never had on the channel before, and that would be a TikToker. So we're going to be finding out how much a TikToker actually makes in the finance space, and also a few of the other questions that he had uh, that he wanted answered. So anyway, let's bring let's bring him on the show, see what this is all about. So Humphrey, welcome to The Graham Stephan Show. What's going on? Hey, good to, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Definitely. So what's up? Not much. I, uh, I reached out to you because, you know, first of all, I'm a big fan of yours. Um, I've been watching you for a long time. And, uh, you know, I just had some questions. Right now I'm making TikTok videos on personal finance. And, you know, I've amassed probably around 400,000 followers at the time of, uh, of speaking. Hmm. And, you know, it just continues to grow, which I'm really excited about. And I know that uh, your opinion of TikTokers is a little bit on the lower end. I mean, I watched your recent video where you made, <laughs> we, I mean, it was a really great video. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people on TikTok that pretend to be millionaires or just have nothing of substantial value to add to the platform, I think. Yeah. Um, other what, than, you know, this is how you can get rich. What's, yeah, what's your, what's your take? I'm looking it up right now. Oh, it's how Humphrey looking? Talks. So my first name is Humphrey Talks. Yeah, there we go. Four uh, four hundred and fourteen thousand sure. followers, three point nine million likes. Wow. So, so so a lot of these are getting anywhere, be, you know, between a, you know, looks like ten to twenty thousand views to half a million views. Wow. Yeah, definitely. And I've very had cool. some. I've had some viral. Videos. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I've had some viral videos that did pretty well. Um, I my my channel is pretty focused on financial literacy for younger younger adults, younger millennials, younger, you know, Gen Zers. And so I've just been making a video a day for the past 120 days. Hmm. And at, at this at this point, I'm sure you know, it's pretty hard to stop once you get going. Yeah. And it feels like if I were to stop, that I would lose a lot of motivation to keep going. Like, I just don't want to break my streak at this point. Let me stop you there about the uh, it's keeping the streak alive. I'm going to tell you, and this applies to anybody out there. As soon as you stop the streak, it all falls down. Seriously, it, it could be as simple as going to the gym every day. If you go to the gym every day, but then you're like, you know what? I don't need to go this weekend. <laughs> Guess what? That next weekend, you're going to be like, ah, you know, I don't need to go this weekend either. And, and, and it slowly starts to crumble. It's, it's like you've got this really smooth surface, and then as soon as you stop it, there's a crack in the surface. And because there's a crack in the surface, that crack is more likely to spread and then infect like the rest of that surface and then all of a sudden you're left with a whole bunch of dirt. So seriously, like I, I've noticed that with a lot of people. As soon as you stop it's that much harder to get back mm -hmm. in and you just mentally excuse yourself from keeping it up in the future. So I'm going to say keep the streak alive as long as you possibly can, just knowing that as soon as you stop, it's going to be so much harder to keep going and you're going to be more likely to skip other days in the future because you skipped one. So that has been one of my biggest fears. Yeah, like one exactly. of the reasons why I do not miss an upload because I know as soon as I miss an upload, guess what? Then that excuses me from missing other uploads as well. And I don't want to start going down that path. I want to keep it going as long as I possibly can without missing an upload. I, and if I miss an upload, it better be like on a major holiday. It better be like purposely missing an upload because the last video is doing really mm -hmm. well. Or there has to be like some really good reason why I'm not missing, you know, not posting that day. But otherwise, you got to post. So keep it, keep doing that. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you know what? That speaks a lot to, I think, being successful is this consistency is king. Like, as long as I'm staying consistent with something, it's going to grow. It's going to do better. I'm going to get. I'm going to. I'm going to improve, and I'm going to get better at whatever I'm doing. I'm curious, though, as an investment TikToker, yeah, are you making money? How much money are you making from this? Yeah. So I have so far. I've made uh, fifteen hundred fifty dollars on TikTok, and there's a brand that just reached out to me. They're called, and they want to pay me between three and five thousand dollars for my next post, uh, depending on how many views it gets. I think, you know, there's a floor of $3,000 and then, you know, if he does better than a certain amount of views, they're going to give me some more money to that. So that's exciting. Um, but my total earnings to date are not that high on TikTok. I think if I had 400,000 YouTube subs, obviously, you know, the, the AdSense revenue would be way higher, which would be great. Yeah, that's where I'm at with uh, TikTok. Yeah, you need to start collecting information and start building a platform and an audience uh, outside of, of TikTok as well. That's what I really think. That's where I think the money is. It's it's not in just getting a whole bunch of people to view your, you know, a one minute clip. It's it's you got to get their information mm -hmm. somehow. You got to get them to either, you know, sign up uh, down below in the description to the Real Estate Millionaire Mastermind Facebook group. By the way, if you guys haven't done that yet, there's like forty five thousand people in there. Um, that's one. Also, guys, join the Discord group. 
It's free. Both of those are free. Just join them down below in the description. Like stuff like that really does well. Uh, also, Instagram. Feel free to add me on Instagram at uh, GP Stefan. Do that and get your two free stocks down below in the description. Weeble. Um, stuff like that. That that really helps. But uh, you have to diversify if you really want to start making more money from that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that advice. Um, yeah. For YouTube specifically, you know, I've made nine videos on my YouTube and I'm having a good time with it. It's definitely harder, but since I don't hold myself to like, I'm going to upload every day, like on TikTok, I'm going to, I hold myself to a standard of I'm going to upload every day. Would you suggest for me to be on YouTube and say, okay, I'm going to upload three times a week and I'm going to stick to it for the next month. Would that help my growth on YouTube? And my yes. videos will probably get better in quality over time as well. Yes, that's going to help. I would say two to three times a week minimum. I would probably start at two. Okay. When you get two down, go to three. And then, by the way, I wanted to react to a few of your TikToks here. So give me give me a sure. few of your favorite ones. So what's how, – how, oh, I see this one. So, Work from home so, jobs part four is 3.9 million views. Uh, if you could choose one, I would choose the, the viral video that I did about Jeff Bezos' wealth with rice. I think that was – Probably oh, I the see best that. one. I'm going to um, watch them both. Here, let me let me and, watch this one. Rice Part 2. Is that the one? Yeah, that's it. Yep. All right, let me watch it. Hold on. In my last video, I counted 10,000 grains of rice, where each grain of rice was $100,000. And that was to show you the scale of a billion dollars. Well, a lot of you guys asked me, well, how much does Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos have in terms of rice? So that was my mission. I went to Target. I bought a digital food scale. I came home and then I weighed the rice that was worth one billion from earlier. I did the math in my head and I went to Costco. I got the rice. I brought it home. And once I brought it home, I went to work. I also want to say that I have five families that are going to take this unused rice, so it's totally not wasteful. Okay, so the moment you've been waiting for, 100K, 1 million, 1 billion. Jeff Bezos has 122 of these or 58 pounds of rice if each grain of rice was 100 pence. Wow. Okay, look how big this is, guys. I'm gonna show you the scale here. I'm gonna put a keyboard Wow. Here. Look how deep that goes. That's insane. This is Jeff Bezos' new house that's $145 million in LA. I love that. <laughs> really puts it in perspective. Because, you know, I, I use that, yeah, sometimes that, that picture, that infographic. That. Yeah, because I use that infographic of like, here's a person standing next to a million, you know, a hundred million, a billion, yeah. a trillion. That is so much better. But let me watch this one, Work From <laughs> Home Jobs Part 4. Let's see if we can figure out why this is so uh, so popular. Let's just see this one. Work From Home Jobs Part 4, and all you really need to know is English and be able to type. The entire role is basically listening to video or audio, typing it out, submitting it, and making money. Now, how much can you make doing this? There are some websites where you can do this, like gotranscript.com, uh, rev.com, and speechpad.com. So, for example, on Rev.com, if you're a captioner, you can get paid between $0.54 cents and $1.10 per minute just by watching video and type what's being said. So in that particular example, you would make between $32 and $66 an hour. In my research, I found that the average wage is around $0.50 cents a minute, which is about 30 bucks an hour. Don't you think that's a lot, Mr. Sloth? Yeah, I see why it's popular, man. I see why it's popular. It, it appeals to basically anyone who's at home right now, not making any money, who wants right. to make 30 bucks an hour yeah. typing from their computer because they're on their computer anyway all the time. I see it. You know, Do, do people actually make that much money from that? Because I've seen so many of these YouTube videos talking about like how you make $60 an yeah. hour from home. Like It seems like so, it, it's – it's otherwise, why don't, why don't they just hire like transcription services like somewhere else at like $3 an hour to, to do Exactly, exactly. So actually, what I found out after I posted the video, which is why I don't really love that video that much, is because mm. it's not the best advice I think that I could give, is that, you know, it's 50 cents per, like, uh, speech minute. So, like, yes. it has to be, uh, it's not just, like, per minute of your time, but it's per minute of transcribing that you, that, you know, like, for example, if a video is 10 minutes and you transcribe one minute of that video, you get paid 50 cents for that, you know, that minute. But that, yes. that work itself could actually take you five minutes or ten minutes. So really, the hourly is probably a lot lower. Um, I didn't know that until afterwards. I was just trying to find some more resources for people to work from home. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's why I'm not yeah. super proud of that video, but it, but it, it gets a lot of views. So, uh, you know, I, I mean, kind of just left it up, and maybe the, it's here, helpful. Yeah, no, here's the thing, man. If, if someone goes in expecting to make 30 and they make, like, 
you know, 10 to 15, I'd still call that a success if they're working from home. If they're, if they're making money versus a time where otherwise they would be watching Love is Blind on Netflix, I think it's a good use of time to make money instead. For sure, so, for sure. Yeah. Well, perfect, man. Well, thank you so much for the call. I really appreciate it. Good luck. No problem. I appreciate uh-huh. you, and uh, thanks for having me on. You got it. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you have not already, smash the like button. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Feel free to add me on Instagram. I post here pretty much daily. So if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. And lastly, if you want two free stocks, use the link down below in the description. Weeble is going to be giving you two free stocks when you sign up on their platform and deposit $100. So if you want a chance to get those two free stocks, use the link down below. Let me know which two free stocks you get. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.